right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to break out of the pentatonic boxes and show you how to play the minor pentatonic scale across the entire fretboard in any key. And guess what? It's only gonna take a couple steps, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm Daniel Serif, and on this channel, every week, I'm sharing with you the things that I've learned over the last 15 years as a professional guitarist and instructor, and sharing them with you, the intermediate guitarist, so that you can learn everything you need to know in order to improve. So if you're new here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button below, and make sure to ding that bell so you know every time I upload a new video. All right, so by the end of this lesson, you'll know how to play the D minor pentatonic scale across the entire fretboard in what I call a diagonal format. And that will be easily translatable into any key that you want to play it in. Now, a little bit of important information that you need to know going into this lesson. So you need to at least know your notes on the fretboard or know how to figure them out. And if you're confused on that, go ahead and check out my last video. I just made a video about how to uh, learn the notes on the fretboard in the best and easiest way. A lot of people get overwhelmed. I tried to simplify it as much as possible. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and jump into the lesson. So again, we're gonna use the D minor pentatonic scale, but instead of using the classic box patterns, which are great by the way, I'm gonna show you how to break out of those. Okay, and we just need a couple of pieces of information in order to do that. So let's jump in. I'm gonna start out by starting on the uh, 10th fret D of the sixth okay. string, okay? And a little bit of a tricky thing here is with this diagonal pentatonic scale is because that's our root, uh, we need to actually put our ring finger on it, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play what I call a two note set. And a two note set is two different notes separated by a whole step, right? So meaning they're just a, you know, skip over a fret, right? So this will be the eighth and the tenth fret. So the ring finger is the root, the pointer finger is what I call a bonus note. Okay, now right next door, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play what I call a three note set. Okay, so we got our two note set. Right next door on the eighth fret of the A string, we're gonna play eight, 10, and 12. That's a three note set. So a three note set is gonna be three different notes and they're just separated by a whole step each. All right, and the great thing about this is that we now have a full pentatonic scale. We have a full minor pentatonic scale. A two note set followed by a three note set with our ring finger on the root note. That is a full minor pentatonic scale. And so I call that a two, three pattern. All right, now the great thing about that is we play a two, three pattern. And then always what's gonna happen with this diagonal pentatonic scale is that next score, uh, next door on the next string is gonna be the opposite set. So if we have a two and then a three, it's gonna be followed by a two and then a three. Okay, here's another important piece of information. The B string will always mess you up. My private students uh, get confused by it. So the big thing that you need to do is uh, just make sure that you realize every time you hit the B string, you have to shift up one fret towards the body. So if we have a two note set, a three note set, two note set, three note set, we're gonna go up one fret higher, I'm starting on 13, and it's in the diagram, 13, 15, and then finish it out with a three note set. So two, three, two, three, two, three, and watching out for that B. Now just like I tell all my in-person guitar students, what goes up must come down. So make sure you practice those things descending as well. Now, when I play it ascending, I always play index ring, index ring, ring, index ring, index ring, ring, watch out for the B, index ring, index ring, ring. On the way down, I think it's easier to play ring, index, index, ring, index, 
Ring index index. Ring index. Ring index index. Ring index. And like I said, the ring finger is the root note on that two note set. So land there when you're done, it'll sound finished. All right, so if you're digging this so far, go ahead, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you, but check this out. Okay, so the amazing thing about the diagonal minor pentatonic, you might be like, Daniel, you know, people have taught me this before online. I've seen the diagonal all over the, diagonal all over the place, man, it's no big deal. Well, this is where it gets really cool. So when you think about it as a two, three pattern, you actually can play it from any string or any location that you can find a root note. Let's look for that. How about we find the D on the A string, okay? So if it's the A string, we're gonna go A, B, C. D will be our fifth fret. And like I said earlier, put your ring finger on that note and uh, we'll have the bonus note below and that'll be our two note set. So we got two notes. On the next string, we'll have three. On the next string, we'll have two. And then watch out because we're about to hit the B string. So we got to shift up one. We're going to play a three note set. And then we got a two note set to finish it out. Pretty nice, pretty cool. All right, back down. We got two, three. Watch out for that cross from the B back to the G. Two, three, two. And what I always tell my students is make sure you include all the strings, right? So we could go all the way to the sixth string. It'll be a three note set. And then I don't end there, I wanna end on the root so I come back up. So listen to that pattern. It sounds great. And the amazing thing is, we just played the minor pentatonic scale in two entirely different areas on the fretboard, and it's so easy to make music with them. All right, one more thing. Let's take this uh, shape that we played where we started the fifth fret, Let's just play it up 12 frets, right? So the, our notes will repeat up 12 frets. So we can just take that and put that. It'll be our ring finger at the 17th fret. All right, got my bonus note below. So I'll start with a two. And then I got a three next door. I've got a two. Watch out for the B string. And then a two. And back down, what goes up must come down. Two, three. Watch out for the cross from B to G. Three, two, let's include the sixth string and come back to the root. I just think this is so awesome. The diagonal pentatonic gives us these huge positions that we can actually start to connect and not be stuck in these boxes, right? So we just looked at three different positions to play the scale and we essentially just played it across the entire guitar neck. That is the diagonal pentatonic. Again, this was the 2-3 pattern, which gives us a minor pentatonic. And I really hope that you dug this lesson. Um, so if you have any questions, please make sure, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. You know, if you have any problems, happy to help you out. And uh, the other thing is, I actually have a whole course on my website, danielserif.com, and it goes through a lot of exercises and great information about the diagonal pentatonic, also a 30-page ebook. So again, thanks so much. I appreciate you checking out this video and uh, have a great day. I'll see you soon.